Alright. Alright. Welcome again. Tonight we're going to cover... We're going to cover the last chapter in the book of Genesis. Wow. Fi already up to chapter 50 in this book. Amazing. I've had fun reading this chapter before. I've had fun reading these chapters. So now, let's finish it up tonight. So, yeah. So let's just skip into it. And it's called for the final reading. We're going to be call we're going to be calling this and it says the name it says the death of Jacob hmm. interesting hmm. well let's get re let's get going huh And it says in chapter 50, the death of Jacob, it says this, And Joseph fell unto his father's face, and wept upon him, and kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servants, the physician, to embalm his father, and the physician to embalm Israel. And forty days were fulfilled for him. For so are fulfilled the days of those which are embalmed, and the Egyptians mourned for him three score and ten days. And when the days of his mourning were past, Jacob spake unto Pharaoh, not Pharaoh, unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found grace in your eyes, spake, I pray you. In the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die. In my grave which I digged for me, in the land of Canaan, there shall thou bury me. Now therefore let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I will come again. And Pharaoh said, Go up and bury thy father according as he made three swear and Joseph went up to bury his father and went and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh the elders of his house and all the elders of the land of Egypt and all the house of Joseph and his brethren and his father's house only their little ones and their flocks and their herds they left in the land of Goshen and there went up with him both chariots and horsemen and it was very great company and they came up to the threshing floor at a tad which is beyond Jordan and they mourned and went a great and very sore lamentation lamentation and he made a mourning for his father's Father seven days, and when the inhabitation of the land of Can of the Canaanites saw the morning in the floor of Atad, they said, "This is a grievous morning to the Egyptians." Wherefore the name of it was called Abel Miz Mizrami, which is beyond 
Jordan. And his son did unto him accordingly as he commanded them. For his sons carried him in the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Mount Machpelah, which Abraham brought bought with the field for possession of a burying place of Ephron the Hittite before Mamur and Joseph returned into Egypt he, he and his brethren and all that went with him to bury his father after he buried his father and when Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead they said Joseph will preventure hate us and will certainly requit us all the evil which we did unto him and they sent a messenger unto Joseph saying thy father did command before he died saying so shall ye say unto Joseph forgive I pray thee now the trespass of thy brethren and their sins for they did unto thee evil and now we pray thee for forgiveness the trespass of the servants of God of thy father and Joseph wept, and when they spake unto him, he and his brethren went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we be thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am in the place of God. But as you... But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it was good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. And Joseph dwelt in Egypt, in his father's house. And Joseph lived a hundred and ten years. And Joseph saw Ephraim's children of the third generation of the children of Machair, the son of Manasseh, and brought him unto Joseph's knees. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I die, and God will surely visit you, and bring you out of this land unto the land which he sware to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones from hence. So Joseph died, being a hundred and ten years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. So, so that was, that, that was what happened. So now, I can say, this the book of Genesis is now complete the series is complete for the book of Genesis 50 chapters in this book yeah so learned from the beginning God created everything Isaac, Abraham, J 
Joseph Jacob the his brothers Joseph's brothers so yeah very good and that was written by Moses now reading in that we're going to be we're going to be doing that soon and we will be reading the book of Exodus and there are there are 40 chapters of Exodus learn find some more um, find out about some more people in the book of in the book of most of Exodus so yeah thank you for watching this series and see you soon see you soon thank you for watching this so now stick around for the final the stick around for not the final but another reading in in the seven standard Pentecostal youth group as they take over so thank you for listening to these videos let the Lord bless you thank you for re thank you for watching these videos See you soon. closer 
I mean that any friend that you've ever had, he's going to be there with you. But how do you know sometimes we get the simple things wrong and it messes up our whole life. We get the simple things and we overcomplicate them and it messes things up. To be a Christian, how do you know it's not just words? To be a Christian, it's not just coming down to an altar and saying, Lord, forgive me and do this in my life and do this. There, that does not make you a Christian. But the Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I don't know if who told you, maybe another preacher, maybe another person said, all you got to do is repeat after me. Say, Lord, forgive me, and everything will be all right. You ever know those people that they can cuss like a sailor? They can use the dirtiest words. They have the dirtiest mind. They do the most wicked stuff, and then they say, well, I'm a Christian. You know anybody like that? I know a couple of people like that. I can do this, and I can do that. I'll get a fight on Monday, come to church on Tuesday, and think I'm a Christian. I'll cuss my teacher out and think everything's right and try to be Christian on Tuesday. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Having you no know, words doesn't change your life. Just coming down to an altar and saying, Lord, just help me, and not meaning it doesn't change your life. But being born again changes your life. How do I be born again? How many know you got to repent? Of your sins. Repenting of your sins is not just, as I said, just saying words, but repenting of your sins means you turn completely away from them and you go the opposite direction. What do you mean? If you're cussing on Monday and God deals with you, you can come to a, a place where you pray to God and say, Lord, forgive me, change me, and I don't want to ever do those things. I don't want to ever talk like that again. How do you know you can be saved, but you must turn from those old words that you used to say? Hallelujah. You must turn from the old person that you used to be. Praise the Lord. How do you know it's not that hard? You just have to be born again. When you were a baby, what did you do? You had to learn some things, huh? How do you know when you get saved, you got to learn some things? Hallelujah. The Lord, he'll teach you. He'll guide you and he'll help you. Just coming to church won't get you to heaven. Right. Just having me as your youth pastor won't get you to heaven. Just singing songs every week won't get you to heaven. But what gets you to heaven? Being Christ like. Being like Jesus. Hallelujah. How many know every aspect of your life? Jesus wants that, and Jesus wants you to live like he did. He wants you to live for him. Praise the Lord. How many know Jesus, he wouldn't listen to half the music you listen to? Jesus probably wouldn't listen to 95, 99% of the music that you listen to. I heard somebody say, well, it doesn't cuss. There's no cuss words in it. Does it lift up the name of Jesus? If it doesn't bring glory and honor to his name, then you shouldn't be listening to it. Well, they're my favorite singer. If it doesn't bring glory and honor to Jesus, you shouldn't be listening to it. Except a man be born again. Hallelujah. Jesus, he wants to change everything about you. I know it's kind of hard to imagine in your mind, but he wants to do that. He wants to make you a new creature, a new yes. creation yes. in him that you won't want to listen to the old thing. You won't want to listen to the old music. I mean, you know, you guys play music and it, it seems like, you know, to me it seems like trash. To me, when somebody's rapping and I can't understand it, it sounds like trash to me. It really does. Why? Because I don't want those in my life. I don't want to listen to those things in my life. Why? Because my most important goal in my life is to not let something sound good to my ear. But you know what? It's so that I can please God. And that's what it means to be a Christian. Hallelujah. I mean, oh, Jesus, he wouldn't use a lot of the words we use here today. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, oh, Christians, they don't cuss. Christians, they don't say bad words. 
I mean, old Christians, they don't even hint around it. But Jesus, tonight, he wants to change your mouth. Hallelujah. Yes. He wants to change your mouth. Don't come down to these altars and say, Lord, forgive me. And go outside and cuss like a sailor again. Yeah. Don't do that. You're not a Christian. But you know what? You can come down to these altars. You might have some of the filthiest language there is to be. Oh, but you can come down here and say, Lord, forgive me. And I'm never going to talk like that ever, ever again in my life. How many know that's what it means to be born again? That's what it means to repent of your sins. Jesus wants to change every part of your life. Hallelujah. How many of how many like the music that you listen to? You like listening to music and you get into it. I see those people, they walk down the street and they're dancing and they're and they're rapping to themselves. You ever seen those people? I mean, they're shaking their hands. They look like an idiot just walking down the street. They're just doing this. How many know you should have a praiseful heart in your life? You should come with you on Tuesday night, ready to lift up Jesus' name. Hallelujah. When a song's going, don't just stand there and sing the words. Don't just sit there and think, you know, oh, I can't just wait till we can uh, go outside. I can't wait till you play the game. I can't wait to go home. Don't do that. But you know what you need to do? You need to lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you for bringing me here tonight. Lord, I thank you for all that you've done in my life. You need to have praise in your life. Hallelujah. This is just simple stuff tonight. But sometimes we overlook the simple things and it messes our whole thing up. huh? The Bible says that a young man came running to Jesus one day. He said, what must I do to inherit eternal life, Jesus? What must I do to go to heaven? You know what Jesus told him? He said, you keep the commandments. Don't steal, don't kill, don't, don't do this, don't do that. <laughs> this young guy, he said, I've kept those. I haven't broken those since I was just a little kid. <laughs> that sounds like a Christian, don't it? it? Sounds like a Christian. Keeps the commandments. How do you know the Ten Commandments? You could say all the Ten Commandments. This kid, he kept them all. He sounded like a Christian. Jesus looked at his life. <laughs> he says, one thing. You're lacking only one <laughs> thing. You have 99% of your, right, of your life that is right with me. But yet there's one thing that's lacking in your life. You're missing one thing. Jesus said, go sell all that you have. Give to the poor. Come and follow me. He was saying, give everything you have to me. Give everything, every part of your life, every goal of your life, your future, give it to me, your mouth, give it to me, where you go, give it to me, the things you watch, the things you do, give it to me. You know what that young kid did? What did he do? He walked away. He walked away. <coughs> you know what? He walked away sorrowful. Walked away sad. Why? Because he could not have eternal life holding on to his own life. How I many know you got to give your life away to Jesus tonight? Hallelujah. Jesus, he wants to save you tonight. He wants to change you. He wants you to repent of your sins. He don't want you to talk by the way you do. He don't want you to listen to the same music that you do. He don't want you to do the same things that you do. He wants to make you a brand new person tonight. Hallelujah. How many want to be a brand new person tonight? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's stand tonight. Praise the Lord. Father, we love you. We praise you. We thank you, Lord, for your love, your mercy, and your grace. God, move in our hearts and in our lives. Move by your mighty hand in Jesus' wonderful name. Hallelujah. How many say, brother, there's some things in my life that don't please God, but I'm going to take care of them tonight. You lift up your hand. Say, I'm going to take care of them tonight. Hallelujah. God sees those things. Have you say, brother, I don't talk like I should talk. You say, I'm going to repent of that. 
I'm going to quit the cussing. You slip up your hand. I'm going to quit the cussing. Hallelujah. 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 God sees those hands. I'm going to say, Brother Aaron, I'm going to quit doing the things that don't please God in my life. You slip up your hand. I'm going to quit doing those things that don't please God in my life. God sees those hands. Have you said, Brother Aaron, I just want to be like Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. I want to be like Jesus. Do you want to be like Jesus? I want to be like Jesus. Let's come. Let's find a place to pray. Let's be like Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.